fueled up and our bellies full, we left Arlo's. We typically only eat two meals a day, and it was late enough in the afternoon that we probably didn't need dinner. We had no reservations or plans for where we'd spend the night. That's pretty much how we would do the whole trip. We had already made a few wrong turns when my navigation software would get confused, but it always eventually corrected itself before we got too far off route. It wasn't far down the road from Arlo's that we spotted Elk Mountain Ski Resort in the distance. Elk Mountain is part of the Endless Mountains region of Pennsylvania between the Poconos and the Allegheny Range and is one of the Pennsylvania's first commercial ski areas. We thought maybe the route would take us close to it, but eventually it took a turn away from it and we never saw it again. We started to see signs of fracking activity. Fracking, or more specifically hydrofracturing, is the process used for drilling deep gas wells in the Marcellus Shale Formation, which runs rich right under this part of the state. It is during this process that the biggest impact occurs to the communities and the local environment. Most of this impact is to the roads themselves, the result of heavy truck traffic using secondary roads. So we encountered lots of different road surfaces, many of which had been resurfaced to accommodate the trucks. There seemed to be a little bit of discord among the residents relating to truck drivers getting lost and trying to turn around in places not suited for heavy trucks. Once these wells are drilled and producing gas, the land around the activity is restored, leaving small grassy lots with nothing more than a well fixture remaining. And goats. We have goats. <laughs> Are they loose goats? Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess I'll come slowly through They're there. On the left. Uh oh. Loose goats, loose goats. Oh, yep. Hi, goats. <laughs> yes, they are loose. Hi, babies. <laughs> oh, we're going to get it all. Wait, it's so dark in here. It seems way later. Yeah. There on the left. I know, there's so much right in here. There's a that's what it was back there. It's just gorgeous. Both sides. So pretty. The turn right in a mile. I get distracted looking at the stone.
we're supposed to go right again nope. or just straight? Nope. Nope. Okay. This looks like it's going nowhere too. <laughs> so I'm like, mm, really? Okay. Works for me. Look at this old barn. Yeah. Wow. What's oh, ahead of you? Something. Uh, it's a tractor. Uh, yeah, something. that is a neat barn. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh. Big, neat stone base. Our turn is coming up in yeah. a quarter mile. Okay. Uh, I might. I don't know whether to go around this guy or not. It's turn. It's hard to tell. They don't. They can turn just suddenly. Yeah. And you don't expect them yeah, to. Yeah, turn's coming up pretty quick. So. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. <coughs> like I said, he could be. <laughs> it's He's, like, are you turning to turn he or what? Darted though? to the right. Like We're going to go alongside it for a while, I noticed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then we'll cut under it. That must be where that hard right is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cagers! <laughs> <laughs> to get going to our campsite for the night hopefully we can find a spot up here at slumber valley i think is what we're looking for oops missed the gear <laughs> I'm like, that sounds more like my kind of ride <laughs>
cow cow everywhere moo moo mud hollow farm <laughs> yep that's a little bit of a mud bog we call it mud bog hollow <laughs> oh it's a moo cows they don't care Deer. Oh, another deer, big buck. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, it's that time they're going to start coming out. He's a big boy. Six or eight, I couldn't tell. Oh, dogs right there. Oh, what? There are two dogs right there. Dogs? Dogs. Right oh. there on the edge of the road. Holy oh. cow. On the left or on the right? On the right, right by my feet. If they'd have jumped up, I'd have run them right over. Oh, I never saw them. No, you couldn't. They were literally right there. Oh. I thought it was just some garbage or something. It's like, no, it's two dogs. Don't know how they've survived that far sitting right there on the road. Jeez. How you doing? <laughs> I take it we're going left. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I, I think it likes it. No, it likes this route. I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good that way? Okay. The clipping. Nope. It's, nope, it doesn't like it. <laughs> Shoot. All right. <laughs> okay. You it sure? Was, it was the clippings. It was the clippings. Oh. Oh, stay up on here. That'll work. <laughs> it's getting it done. <laughs> you can get around me. Wee doggies. I got stuff shifting on me here. We were just a few miles from arriving at the campground, so we decided to stop at a dandy mini mart and fuel up the bikes so we'd be ready first thing in the morning. We had picked the campground purely at random. We just looked it up on a Google search and thought, hey, that might be fun. So when we arrived at the campground, we were absolutely blown away by what we saw. We, we pretty much had it to ourselves. And they told us, just go to the end of that little road there and pick a spot. How about this first spot for tonight? Much better than last night. I mean, last night was gorgeous in its own way. But this is totally alone on top of a creek. I'm totally digging this spot. Put down 115 miles today. We made it to Michopin, and we found this amazing little campground. It's a private campground, and being a Sunday, Sunday evening, uh, we kind of have a lot of it to ourselves. But the most beautiful thing is our campsite is right here, overlooking this waterfall on Michopin Creek. Can you imagine? This is uh, way beyond what we expected. So we fueled up in town and then headed to the campground and it's uh, it'll get dark in about an hour. We've got our camp set up and we're just in paradise here. We get refreshed for tomorrow's ride. Hopefully we'll do uh, maybe 150 tomorrow. Ride through some state forest and uh, work our way towards the national 